are in the Ochoco National Forest on this trip and we got in last night um, there are a lot of cows some cattle and stuff on this public land that we're on and the campsite we originally got to had copious amounts of cow poop <laughs> and we one of our dogs Sammy <laughs> is a, a poop eater and it, yeah and she <laughs> it was not the best spot for her we could not keep her out of it so I woke up bright and early 6 a.m. well Abby got us up at 6 a.m. and uh, we are now scoping out a new spot where Sam won't be indulge indulging in a buffet of cow poop. <laughs> so we're gonna head that, uh, find a new spot, head that way, and uh, another attempt at fly fishing on this trip. We've heard Jason heard that there is a spot in the river down here where the fly fishing is good and it is good for beginners. So doing most of this trip, so here's some good fish luck. a good spot with no poop for Sam to munch on so that's good <laughs> and it's a really pretty spot we're up on this kind of a little bit of a ledge here um, a ridge I guess you could call it and there's really nice views of the mountains across the way and so we're just going to finish setting up our camp and head out to the river see if Jason can't catch a fish or two here is our new spot. It's beautiful.
the Crooked River. And there's a big black cloud up there. Looking very ominous and getting very windy. Hope we don't get rained out, but if we do, that's fine. We need the rain. Or maybe it'll pass over quickly. I just don't like being cold and wet. So far he's caught two fish and had a bunch of nibbles. It's really cool too because there's a bunch of fish just in this area and I've seen uh, a couple jump right in front of him which have been decently sized. Um, this is a good spot and as you can see behind me our big scary cloud is gone and it's starting to clear up so it should hopefully turn out to be a beautiful day and maybe he'll get some more fish. is located in Central Oregon near the Ochoco National Forest. It's an excellent area for hiking, fishing, and kayaking. The river is home to steelhead, brown trout, and rainbow trout. The river runs for nearly 15 miles through scenic basalt canyons from the Ochoco Forest to Opal Springs. just sit out here all day and listen to this river and just look at all the beautiful scenery around here it's this really is a beautiful place uh, I think we'll yeah we'll definitely be back oh you just got another one that's three fish you can get a few more. This is a really great spot. dogs are starting to get a little warm so I made them as a little shelter here out of the monkey mat to get some shade. Daddy get some shade in there. These little monkey mats are awesome. I use it for everything. We use it as a little shelter, um, use it as a mat on some like 
if we're camping and there's dusty stuff, you've probably seen me use it as kind of a floor mat in our uh, entryway to our camper so we don't drag dirt in. It's, we can use it as a tablecloth and the, each corner is weighted so it doesn't blow away, which is really, really nice. Um, it's a cool little thing. This is, it was a success. I caught five rainbow trout for varying sizes. Cool. It's fun. Once back at camp, we enjoyed our lunch with a view. Well, that was a successful fishing day for Jason and a very beautiful day overall. And I think for the rest of this day, we're just gonna sit here and enjoy the view and enjoy this peace and quiet and relaxation. It's time for bed, everybody. The temperature is dropping quickly. It's already in the upper 40s. Um, it's supposed to get to the upper 30s tonight, maybe. And uh, it's actually a full moon, actually a blue moon, which means two full moons within one month, which is a very rare occasion. And we are fortunate enough to be out here to see it. So I hope you enjoy this footage that we got of the moon tonight. And we'll see you in the morning. It's a beautiful sunny day. I think the high today is gonna be 80. So it should be really nice today. We are going home though. <laughs> That's the sad part. It's always the sad part. But uh, before we do, I believe Jason wanted to head back down to the river on the way home and see if he can snag a few more fish. Uh, so we'll see you down there.
We're back down at the Crooked River this morning, seeing if he can catch a few more fish before we head back home. It's much sunnier and warmer down here today than it was yesterday, so I'm just gonna do my usual sit back, relax, enjoy the sun, and hopefully send him some good, good fishing luck vibes. So I brought some fresh water in a bowl for the dogs. Um, reason being is because there's all this in the water. I'm not exactly sure what it is. I know with the warmer temperatures we've been having here in Oregon, there have been some algae blooms, which are killing dogs if they drink the water. It's toxic to dogs. So anytime we go down by water, um, I make sure to bring some water with them. It's just, it's just something to keep in mind when you are having your dogs by the water. Um, I would hate to have them take a sip of water that has the toxic algae in it. I would, I, I would never forgive myself. Um, but there have been warnings, at least in the Portland area. I'm not too sure about here. I just don't want to take my chances. So just a little dog mom pro tip. <laughs> if you are going to be ne near some water with dogs, make sure you do have fresh water with you to give them because it's not always safe for them to drink the, the river or lake water. He's way down there now. He's just past these two big rocks. We could just barely see his head. He's not getting any bites today, but we are at a different spot than we were yesterday, so we might need to move up the river a bit. But he's, he's way down there now. <laughs> I just saw a fish jump right there, right where he was standing like two or three minutes ago. I just saw a fish jump. Oh, maybe they'll get closer to him down the river. Well, not a man. Nothing here. They're having a lazy Sunday. These fish taking the day off. They're out at brunch. Well, I guess we're headed home now. Since we're about three hours from home, we kind of want to get home and do some unpacking and relaxing before we have to head back to the work week. But uh, thanks for joining us again on this wonderful venture. This was a beautiful spot. We will be back. If you have not subscribed, please do. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave all the comments that you want. And um, we'll see you next time somewhere, somewhere out here in Oregon. Bye.